Welcome back to another video. Today we have a special video, a little bit different than what we used to do. Today we're gonna test, see which roof material transfers the heat to the plywood the less. So what we got going on today is we're gonna lay down some synthetic slate, some cedar shakes and shingles. We're gonna lay the black, like a darker color and the lighter color on a piece of plywood. We're gonna let it bake on the sun for a little bit. Then we're gonna come back and then take a measurement with the thermal imaging camera and that would tell us which material soaked the heat the most and which one got hotter, which one transferred all that heat to the plywood. So that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Let's talk less and fix more roof. Now we're here, we got the piece of plywood laid down. We have the synthetic slate, cedar shake. So we're gonna lay them now like we will typically install them. So you can have a better idea of what it looks like and how the heat will transfer to the plywood. That's why we're looking here. We just wanna do an experiment so you guys can see what it looks like and how the heat transferred to the plywood. That's what we're trying to get here. We're gonna to try to get a reading today. So this is a city shake. That's how we will typically install them. Now we're gonna do the synthetic slate. We do the starter strip at the bottom. So what it will look like. So now let's go get some of the shingles. We're gonna use the Certainty Landmark shingles. The color is, I think cobblestone, but I'm not sure. Let me double check that. Yes, cobblestone gray made by Certainty. It's gonna be the lighter shingles. And then charcoal gray also which will be our darker shingles. So you guys can see the difference between these two. We're gonna lay them out on top of the plywood. It's just an experiment that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So that's what, how we will typically install the shingles. And now we're doing it with the lighter shingles. This is the everyday shingles that we use and we use the all these materials are extras that we have in our shop and we want to show which one transfer the heat to the plywood which will eventually will be the heat in your attic that's what we're trying to see so we're going to let it bake on the sun for a little bit we're going to come back take some measurements with the thermal imaging camera and find out which one my guess if you ask me the one that holds the heat the better it won't transfer the heat it will be the cedar shake just because of the wood being wood and then insulation capabilities but we're going to do the test and see what comes up that's my guess so we'll be right back so in order to be able to see this screen i gotta have this but we're going to take a reading all this good stuff so right there we got 130 and 31 130 this is the cedar shakes and then we jump to synthetic 157 156, 157, shingles, 177, 176.5. And then the other shingles this is the lighter shingle color. This is 160, 159, 160. So that's the difference, 177, 160, 157, and 137. Uh, what I wanted to know is if they transfer that heat to the plywood. So we're going to move this plywood inside on the shade, remove all those materials and take a reading again and see what happens. So what I want to do now is take a reading of the plywood. You guys can see over here, it's 116, 117. Let's see what is underneath the shingle. One thirty-eight, one thirty-seven. About underneath this other shingle. One twenty-three. So there's a big difference. How about underneath this slate? One twenty-one. You actually could see 
You see that blue right there? That's what this late was. So there's a big difference. And how about underneath the cedar shakes? Let's move the whole cedar shakes to the side. You see the blue? It's one on one. We got our winner. Yeah. Right, so the cedar shakes, it doesn't transfer the heat down to the plywood. There is a different, it's this one is 100 degrees under the cedar shake and the other one was 147. So it's a 47 degree difference between on the plywood between the shingles and the cedar shakes. If you like this type of videos, please like, comment, subscribe. Every Sunday and Wednesday, new video. Don't forget the bell. Give us a comment. What type of cedar or what type of roof system you got in your house? Let us know below. Thank you.